Hello, my name is Taren Packer and I'm a simulation support specialist at GoEngineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about an awesome new tool in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2020 called the Simulation Evaluator. To get to the Simulation Evaluator tool, right click the very top feature in your Simulation Feature Tree and click on Simulation Evaluator. The Simulation Evaluator gives you a lot of really great information. The first thing it gives you is where your studies are located on your uh, local hard drive. The second thing it gives you is how much space you have on your local hard drive for new simulation results. If you don't like where the uh, file is located, maybe you don't have enough space or maybe you just don't like where the results are being saved to, you can click on this link. It'll take you to the Simulation Properties Manager where you can then change the location of your results if you want to. The third thing it gives you are material properties. It tells you all the part files or bodies in your simulation. It tells you the category of the different materials you're using. And it also shows you the material itself. You can hover over these materials and see exact properties for each of them. So you can decide right here if this is what you need or not and then go and change it if you want to. The fourth thing it gives you is the mesh volume. Uh, it tells you the mesh volume of the CAD model versus the actual discretized mesh volume itself in SOLIDWORKS simulation. And then it gives you a percentage difference between the two. These blue boxes are just little descriptions of what each category means. And you can sort the categories either by priority or alphabetically, whichever you prefer. So the simulation evaluator only gives you those four things. It does not evaluate loading or connections. There's been some confusion with that. Also, the simulation evaluator can be used in any simulation study type. See, thermal loading has simulation evaluator. Even 2D studies have simulation evaluator. So I can use the simulation evaluator in any study type. When I haven't set something up, it tells me I must first create the mesh or uh, materials are not applied. So if you haven't set the materials or the mesh up, then it will just tell you, hey, you need to do that. So it's a really great tool that uh, they've given us in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2020 to help us organize and understand our simulations at an even deeper level. This has been Taryn Packer, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.